wanted to show you guys something on the sawmill here while I was thinking of it. Um, this this particular mill, when I lower the blade all the way down as low as it'll go, it has a safety stop. Those little stops are for holding your log in place. It's got a safety stop. The blade won't go any more than about an inch off the deck. And so what you're left with is this funny uh, inch dimension scrap. Now you could take that to a planer or whatever or use it. It's not it's not wasted, but it's one of those things that's easy to just go, oh heck, that scrap, and throw it away because it's all that's left of the log. But what I've found I can do that I like to, <laughs> like to do, especially when I'm doing a bunch of uh, uh, flat saws, like or you know a bunch of thinner stuff. So like for right now, I'm sawing out more um, six inch wide sheathing for the well house. So I like to square up three sides and actually leave the fourth side with an awful lot of scrap on it. So what I'm going to do now, you see I've got a good flat on the end there, and I've got good and flat on the end here, and the other three sides are square. So what I'll do now is flip this over and make that my scrap. So that's what will be left on the deck when I'm done sawing everything else down. Now I am, like I said, I'm sawing on half inch uh, thin boards for sheathing. And so when I make that fourth cut, I set on my block for what dimension I want instead of you know just looking at it and going oh you know I'll just saw it off at five inches or whatever so you know I was I've, I've been uh, instructing my father-in-law and running the sawmill here and I'm by no means an expert that you know I told him it, you know really just running this thing effectively is all about constantly thinking what you're gonna do with that log you know it's real easy to just throw it on there and go oh I'll square it up and then make something out of it but you know, these logs, if they've got the slightest little bit of bow or, or bend in them, you lose a lot. I mean, this, this scrap here came off the top of the log. When I took that off, it was like crap, you know? <laughs> not going to get anything useful out of this log, not after you take that big old chunk off. Um, but even that, I can take and I'll flatten off this high spot in the middle here. And it's, it's about 8 inches wide on that lower side. So I'll flatten this high side, and I think I might actually be able to resaw it and get... Uh, a couple of six inch wide boards out of it too. They'll only be a couple feet long. Um, but I'm kind of in the final throws on this well house. You know, I'm just, I'm using up shorter pieces to, to finish out the sheathing on it. So, you know, it's not all scrap. It comes down to the question of whether or not it's cost effective to saw it out versus just throw it away. Now for me, my logs are free. Um, and you know, this mill is kind of slow. So it's kind of a mix, you know, because it's like, I'm not desperate to, to get value out of this little scrap here. I can just throw it away. Um, and it takes me a while to get it out of it. So you would think mostly, yeah, throw it away. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a lot of times I do throw it away, but I kept that one. I kept that one up there on the pile just because they were too broad. There was, they just seemed like there was too much in them. So I'm going to try to do something with them today. This one here on the ground, I kept, um, so I'm going to try to do something with them now and see if I can't clean them up and get some value out of them. But I just wanted to mention, again, this idea of, you know, planning for that final board to be scrap, not getting surprised when you're done with a board that's this odd thickness that's perfectly square. So you can plan it out to where when you roll the log over face down, you've got a couple of flat spots, just enough to square you on the deck. But you've got a whole bunch of wane and crap in it, so it really truly is a scrap board when you're done. That's just something I like to do. Just figured I'd share. Let's see what we can get out of it. Okay, so I just finished sawing it out. I know I didn't give you guys the action, but I don't have my tripod. But let's count and see. I'm actually really happy with this. I got way more than I expected. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, so they're six inches wide, nine feet long. Call it eight for easy math. <clears throat> so that's uh, one square foot per foot per two boards. So there's eight square feet. Here's eight square feet. Here's eight square feet. Oh, and this is going to be a pain to restack all that. But so you've got. 8, 16, 24. So right here, here's your 4 by 8 sheet of plywood. No, sorry, 24, 30. That one's got some wane in it. Uh, anyway, you know, for, for what I'm using this for, 
Um, basically in place of OSB, I don't know, what's a sheet of half inch OSB? It's like 20 bucks or something. Maybe it's cheaper than that. I can't remember. Maybe it's 13 or 14. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, it's not a, not a huge money maker here, but it is, uh, for me, really running this mill, I've mentioned before a lot of times, it's about, um, just not having to go to town, <laughs> not having to go to town and buy the crap and go to the store. This piece here will work because again, I'm just using it for sheathing. Um, so that'll work just fine. But see, here's my scrap. Here's my scrap board. I was telling you guys about that odd thickness, about an inch thick, but look how good that worked. I mean, that really is scrap. So I, I and I mentioned, I know I planned it that way. Uh, when I first started running this mill, a lot of times I'd end up with a perfectly square board on the bottom like those over there that are you know mostly square and too thick for what i wanted and you can't <clears throat> i've tried resawing them again by putting them up on a half inch piece to get them right up on those little dogs but it, they want to they want to jump off those little dogs really don't hold it very well unless it's a solid block right on the deck anyway let me get this cleaned off i'm going to restack it up over here where i'm putting my good stuff and i'm going to dig this piece out of the dirt and those odd scraps and see what I can't get out of them too. Okay, so here's our log. Um, that was the first one we were talking about. I got two more little boards out of the um, scrap off of it. This one looks thin on the end, but if you look down the length of the board, it actually thickens back up. I'm not sure why that end had that weird taper to it. Uh, this was out of the scrap that was on the ground that was in the sawdust. I got two more boards out of it. And then two here and actually four all right well wife called but anyway yeah so two more out of uh one scrap and actually four out of uh a bigger scrap that was it was it was a bigger log like a 14 or 16 inch diameter log but it had a big funny bow in it so we taken off this big high hump and i was like man it's just too much material to just throw that on the scrap pile so that's one that i had set aside back on the main log pile and just cleaned it up so you know, to say that I got all of this here and this and those two on top, all out of stuff that would have otherwise been thrown away, to me, that's worth it. Uh, hopefully, it's enough to finish up what I'm using this for on this project. I think it's going to be more than enough, um, which is really why I want to do it. I didn't really want to, like, crack into another fresh log, try to get enough scraps to finish up. So, hopefully, this is enough. I'm going to get it carried up here to the house and... Um, Put it to use anyway just thought i'd share that you know plan your log out and uh make it so when you're done and you've got a scrap on the deck it really is a scrap